41 million. That's how many people have gone looking for love online. For Believers Seeking Believers, the number one service that caters to those preferences is ChristianMingle.com. And now, that service isn't just a website, it's also a movie. Take a look. 30 years old and only a couple of lousy short-term relationships under my belt. You're single and you're looking for a meaningful relationship. Find God's match for you at ChristianMingle.com. You're right, this is wrong. What's wrong? What's wrong? I'm, I'm Paul. Gwyneth Hayden. Sweetie, you're desperate and you're grasping at straws. You're not Christian. Christian. When is the last time you stepped into a church? Being a believer, what does that even mean? You, Lord, I Thank you for opening my eyes, my heart, to, to all of this. Christian Mingle is out now on DVD, and joining us now with more is Corbin Burnson. He's the writer slash director of the film, and Corbin, we welcome you. Oh, thank you for having me. Good to have you here. What's the inspiration for this? Where did the concept come from? Well, you know, honestly, I write from the heart. I, I, I often don't know when my hand goes down to the paper and God's working his way through me to put something down there. I don't know where it's going. I know we wanted to break away and just make a movie that's a com romantic comedy and the Christian genre, if that's mm -hmm. not really a genre, but, you know, so many movies seem to be just altar call movies, and why can't we just make, you know, a rom-com or something? <laughs> and when I put my hand down to paper on this, it just came out, and I think ultimately what I found out was something that mirrors my life, is that it started to address the notion we all have a, a path to Christ, mm -hmm. and we all have a path to God, and um, each one is very individual, and I think that's ultimately what was coming through. Talk a little bit about Gwyneth, who is the main character. I mean, she's a non-believer and she chooses to go to ChristianMingle.com. What right. was going on there? Well, let me correct one thing because it's very important. She was not a non-believer. She was like so many people. It's like, I have a notion of this and it's in my life. And I just, it's like even, someone even would say I'm a Christian and, and say they're a Christian mm -hmm. and say they're a Christian or just identify that way. I guess if they have mm -hmm. to, I guess, you know, like she says, I go to church. You didn't finish a little part in the clip. She goes, well, you know, I went to a wedding. I liked it, you know. Uh, it's all good. But, but um, yeah, so many people, she's somebody who, like, so many people just identify and just need to, and it's really what I try to do in my films. It's really me. It's coming out of my own journey mm -hmm. of, like, yeah, I'm Christian. I believe in God and stuff. Yeah. And, you know, and then saying, you know what, I have to go a little further with yeah. this. Tell us about your journey. How, what was your faith walk like? Well, I... I, uh, I can tell you from my youngest, youngest days, had a notion of Christ, a, b a belief in God, maybe not God, you know, with the beard and, mm -hmm. you know, and all that, but something greater, much more powerful, magnificent, the beauty of this earth, the, the magnificence not, of people, right. just so huge. Um, and I put everything over there. When I saw something beautiful, a flower, or the birth of my children, that's God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where I put it. But... After my father passed away about seven years ago, I was literally sitting with a bag of ashes and said, now, what do you really think? Because mm -hmm. this is, this is the man is. who is an yeah. agent and a producer and mm -hmm. is now sitting in a Ziploc baggie of ashes, and what do I think? Mm -hmm. And it made me start looking at the bigger picture, and I wrote a little film called Rust that yeah. explored the beginnings of an exploration of faith. Yeah. And uh, it took me on this magnificent journey of making faith-based movies, which has become my path. Yeah. To God Christ. works in mysterious ways. Or incredible, <laughs> magnificent, bigger than we ever talk about ways. Bigger than so many of the yeah. things that are in the news ways. Yes. Let's go back for just a moment to the, the Christian Mingle movie that you've produced. Mm -hmm. Because in it, you know, Gwyneth almost with embarrassment goes online and fills out the information. And a lot of people, I think, feel that way. It's kind of like online to meet somebody that right. I really might match with here. What do you think about that? Well, for you and I and our generation, it's like, yeah. But I'm also a guy who used to misses writing letters. Yeah. You know, I'm a, yes. little, I'm a little leery of, you know, emails and you don't really say what you think. I was being online. So, right. so here's, but here's the thing that I, you know, I had to explore that to write the movie. In reality, if you're really talking about technical advances, to sort of weed out a lot of bad encounters to get to somebody who might be close to what I'm looking for, it's actually quite effective. It, it, it doesn't have some of the romance, I suppose, but 
you know, I'm not even sure we have that day. What is it, going out to a, a – if you don't find them at work or school, then where are you off to? You're, yeah. you're a club or bar or wherever mm -hmm. people – I don't know what people do. Yeah. So and, it seems effective. And it, it does cut – out, you Cuts know, wondering whether this person is looking for someone sure. or not. I mean, you, you obviously yeah. you're both looking, or you wouldn't be and, on and, there. And people do address the the was well, it safe, but it, you know, you you can meet a guy at school and it's not either. safe either. Yeah, so exactly. you know, it's you know, you just have to be smart there. You mentioned your dad. You've also done a movie that really was in honor of your mom, who right. had quite a history in right. the, in Yeah, Beyond business. the Heavens. I think I was here actually talking about that a uh -huh. while ago. It's actually one of my favorite movies I've done because it really is about a young kid who questions things. And I believe deep, deep, deep in my heart, God wants us to question. Mm -hmm. I believe God wants us to question. God wants us to doubt and keep digging and going further. I'm, I'm leery of people. and I've, I've been around a lot of people in making faith-based movies who identify themselves as Christians who think they know it all. Yeah. And, and I, I'm somebody who says, I know nothing other than ma the magnificence and I'm gonna keep working toward the light, mm -hmm. toward the love. And uh, that's really what that movie was about. It wasn't hugely popular because it didn't it wasn't definitive like this is it mm -hmm. and but there was the actual nature of the movie it's not it was a boy who said I, I don't know I want to I, I don't know I want to explore real and really real. I think that's God's purpose for me that's going back to Christian Mingle is we each have our own path and I think my path has been to explore through film mm -hmm. to for my own personal relationship but also to not preach to the choir, but touch people whose lives are kind of like Gwyneth, kind of like I was and still am on a road where you go, I get it, I get it, I want to go further, and I don't want to be afraid to explore, and I want to, uh, you know. Or and, ask. Yeah, or ask. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what God wants us to do. Quickly, tell me what you're doing with Regent University right I'm now. I'm doing a wonderful, wonderful film that's uh, it got a working title called Jesse and Naomi. Uh, I think when I was here doing Beyond the Heavens, talking about that, I went over to Regent, across campus here, and saw this incredible film school with yeah, these wonderful. kids <laughs> wanting to make movies. And we came up with this wonderful idea of making a movie with the Regent kids. I think we have 66 kids working wow. on the film. and. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's just been an incredible we'll experience. Watch for that. That'll yeah. be another wonderful thing to look for. It's a really to. wonderful, fun, fun film. That's yeah. great. Well, thank you. It's wonderful to have you here. And I just want to tell all of you if you're looking for a nice, relaxing evening in with your loved ones, get Christian Mingle. It's on DVD and available just in time for Valentine's Day. So, Corbin, thank you so much. Oh, we'll thanks for having me. I love project. being here, and thank you all so much.